But none of that is more exciting or exotic than matching the mulberry hatch yeah. for hefty yes, carp. That's good. Hold the grip. I got it. And try to keep him in the water. Yep. I'll grab a camera. Just elevate him just a little bit and I'll get it. Elevate him a little bit more. Hold on a second. What happened? And the boga came off. Did you lose the boga? No, grip? no, here it is. It, fl it flipped right into the boat. Well, the only picture I could get is a picture of you disgusted yeah, now. Yeah, yeah, this, here we go. Here, let me get that. <laughs> I'll keep that picture. There's more. I learned a terrific lesson just then on that deal. No matter how many times you explain something to somebody, until they actually see it, yeah. mm -hmm. as I saw you work that fish, I, I learned a lot on that deal. I Good. own it now. Good. I can do it. Of course, a claim like that is the cue for a carp to come along and dispute it. A carp and all his cohorts. Let's, let's go back here and check out the bait. Here's a few ripe ones flipped down close, but they're not, they're not nearly ready. Yeah, you know, Brian, this is funny, but this is not exactly the same mulberry that I'm familiar with seeing. It looks like the same fruit almost, but really, yeah, the tree is quite a bit different, a much bigger, more elongated leaf that we call a mulberry. But I'll tell you, those flies are a pretty darn good imitation of those things. Yeah. Uh, are these things edible? Uh... Not completely right, but try it. I don't think so. All right. <laughs> <laughs> They're good. You sure? <laughs> Let's go fishing. Come on, take me fishing. Enough of this. There he comes over here. Oh, he's he's shallow though. You see him flip? See him coming Nick, up? Got him. Yep. Hit him, drop him. He's yours. Perfect. Whew. That was cool. It took the right approach, the right timing. Oh, you should have never showed me these tricks. I'm a carpologist now. <laughs> it's just a hacker before. We got you all carped up now. Flip, this one's pretty big for his size. That's about as big as a carp that size is going to get. Yeah, you're probably right. We're about to get carped. <laughs> it wasn't easy to tear me away from the pagan altars of bass and trout, but Brian and Dave Whitlock have carp. made me a convert to carp. <laughs> what comes next? <laughs> Suckers and mudfish? Beauty. Want to give him a kiss? Yeah, I'll kiss the next one. Okay. But I'll tell you what, I sure appreciate the day and all the instruction on, on how to deal with these guys. It's a science, isn't it? I mean, the mulberry fishing, it takes you, you know, Whitlock said it when he was out here, you got to get tuned in, you got to get dialed in on exactly what they're looking for, and you did that. Thanks, kiddo. You bet. Carp on fly, the way Brian does it, is the next big thing. It's sight fishing, it's selective feeders. Trade the mangroves for the mulberries and you've got a bonefish flat in your own backyard. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.